my gosh, Caddy, you just skipped a grade. You're officially in spiritual grad school. You're right. But let's all remember, God doesn't give us more than we can handle. Because he does, he gives us the tools to handle whatever is thrown at us. Yes, we live on planet Earth where no one escapes their journey of blissful and orgasmic highs. Wow, Maria, those must be some highs. <laughs> and they're peppered with dangerously grief-stricken lows that certain experiences may be destined and that we are to grow stronger. Ah, <laughs> yes, we are here to grow stronger and we are here to become better and to expand into greater beings than we think possible. You know, regardless of our circumstances, it's our response that defines us. Do we play victim? or victor. Which do you want to be? You know, our job is to hold ourselves in a place of peace, a place of acceptance and understanding and kindness. Regardless, Aristotle knew it's during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Our challenge is to see the gift in our struggles. Every experience is for our spiritual growth. When we change our perspective, we change our life. But that's our job here. We cannot try to change another. We are each on our own path and there is no judgment. For it's in the contrast of light surrounded by darkness. You're gonna love this. Light, yay! Surrounded by darkness that our brilliance shines brightly. Wow, Maria, light bulbs can be really bright. Maria, you really think I'm a light bulb? Oh my gosh. Hmm. None of us gets through it unscathed. It's just a fact. And what we do with it is up to us. How we handle adversity is up to us. How we choose to move forward is up to us. When you know that you are the light, you show the world the real you, filled with love, understanding, and joy. Maria, why doesn't everyone choose to live like that? Should we all evolve? Oh my gosh. Caddy and I have so much more to share with you. So go grab some cookies and carrot sticks and come right back. Bye for now.